And today, we're going to be doing an upper body dumbbell workout. So, for this workout, we're going to be doing 24 exercises performed all in a row. We're going to do one set of each exercise. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds, and there are no extended breaks. If you like this workout, hit that like button and let's get to work. All right, we got about 30 seconds until we get started. If you have a fitness track and watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise that we're going into is bent over rows. So let's grab our dumbbells and I'll demonstrate. So for this one, we're gonna have a slight bend in the knees, bending at the hips, keeping that lower back nice and straight. Palms are facing towards our legs. We're gonna come up, back down. When you come up, really squeeze the back, come back down. Full range of motion all the way down, all the way up. Here we go. Oh. We're gonna focus on full range of motion, coming up, getting that full contraction right there, letting that muscle catch fire. Here we go. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. Come on. Keep pushing. Ten seconds left. There we go. One more. Here we go. All right, next one we're going into, we just need one dumbbell. We're going into clean pull, so we'll switch at the halfway mark from here. We're going to drop down with our legs, come up, pull it up, let it come back down. So just like this, bam, bam. Switch to 20 seconds. How do you get the bands in? <laughs> here we go. Come down. There we go. Should be feeling it up in the traps here. Maybe a little bit in the shoulders. If you want to work a lot more back, then try not to bend so much at the knees. If you want to get a little bit of leg action in on the upper body, you can drop down. That's fine. Five seconds. One more. There we go. All right, this time we're going back to two dumbbells. We're doing reverse grip rows. So this time our palms are going to be facing away from us. Our elbows are going to be tucked by the side. We're pretty much going to drag the dumbbells from our knees up our thighs to our hips. Come back down. You almost feel like you're pulling up and back. Here we go. There we go. Come up. Squeeze that back. Back down. Oof. There we go. Oof. Come on. Oof. Let's go. Halfway. Oof. Push it out. Oof. Get that squeeze in. Come on. back to single dumbbell for DB swings here. So it's like kettlebell swings except kind of dumbbell. So keep that lower back nice and straight, drop it down, bring it out. Just like that. Switching it halfway, so 20 seconds. Here we go. Remember keeping that back nice and straight, exploding through the hips. Switch it up. Not risky enough to toss it, huh? Not at all. Very <laughs> slow. Come on. Probably best to set it down. The switch. Come on. Let's go one more. Here we go. All right, we're moving on to bicep curls this time. So grab our dumbbells, what we're going to do here, we're actually doing alternating close curls. So coming right across, dumbbells are going to stay nice and close to the body. As you come up, rotate that wrist, get the pinky higher than the thumb. Here we go. Come up, back down. If you wanted, 
You could do doubles. Maybe your dumbbells are a little light. I just feel like whenever I'm doing it this way, my elbows have to flare to bring it across and close to the body. I'm up, squeeze. I'm up, squeeze. You can even just put them together. You can go like that too. If you want more of a preacher curl style. Let's go. Come on, come up, squeeze the bicep. There we go. All right, next one we're going into is hammer curl. So this time when we come curl, we're gonna have a neutral wrist position so our palms are gonna be facing each other. We're coming up, if you want, you can alternate if you need to. So from the side, just coming straight out, palms are facing towards each other. Here we go. Come up, squeeze. Don't forget to come up and get that squeeze right there. You can give a little one count. Come back down. Come on. Always feel this on the outside of the biceps. Woo! Catching fire. Oh yeah, let those biceps burn. Here we go. Let's go. One more. There we go. All right, next one we're going into is concentration curls, left side. So if you have a heavier dumbbell, use it. I get a nice split stance right here. Hand I'm not using goes on a knee to help raise my back. Let the hand we're using just hang from here. I'm going to curl it up, come back down. Again, when you're doing this, try to rotate that wrist. Other hand for you if you're doing that way. Here we go. So if you're doing it like Jim, you're going to be putting your tricep up against your leg there. Come on. Let's go. Woo! Oh, biceps are on fire. Come on. Keep pushing. One more. Switching sides here. Oh man, my bicep is on fire right there. Here we go. 10 seconds. Keep that back nice and straight. Here we go. Come on, come up, squeeze, back down. Up, squeeze, back down. There you go. Woo, mama got guns over there. Come on. Let's go. Halfway. Come on, keep pushing. Get that squeeze at the top. Try to get that pinky higher than the thumb again. Let's go. We got one more. Let's go. There we go. All right, we're going into chest now. So we're going to do chest press or push-ups here. I'm going to do chest press. So I'm going to get those dumbbells out a little wide. Drop down on my back here. And from here, you can just curl them up. From here, press them up, give them a little tap, come back down. Here we go. So up, back down. Up, back down. And you come up, squeeze. You can also, as you come up, rotate the dumbbells. So your palms are facing each other, tap them together, come back down. There we go. Focus on that chest. Don't forget to breathe. Good controlled movements. Here we go. Oh, we got one more rep. There we go. All right, so we're going into a decline press here. So what we're going to do is in this chest press position, we're going to get our hips in the air with a glute bridge like this, and then we're going to push up, come back down. Here we go, about five seconds. Get those hips up, press up, come down. 
Press it up, give them that little tap, come back down. There we go. Come on. Keep pushing. Come on. crush press here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our dumbbells from up here, we're going to bring them together. We're going to keep them together the entire time, come down, press back up. Here we go. Bring them together. There we go, come down and back up. Down and back up. Woo, come on. Let's go. Keep pushing. Oh yeah, I feel that burn. Come on. Let's go, keep pushing. 15 seconds. Good controlled reps here. One more. There we go. All right, so we're going to go into lying flies next. Probably going to want a little bit lighter of the dumbbell. I'm going from 30s to 20s here. How are you feeling over there? Good. <laughs> from here, we're going to have a slight bend in our elbows. We're going to lock that in. So just bring them out here, lock that in, come up, back out. So once we have that little lock in our elbows, our elbows aren't bending anymore. They're staying with that bend. The whole time, I'm using the chest to bring them up. There we go, let that chest open up, come back, squeeze, back down. There we go. You push it. There we go. Alright, we're going to stand up, going into triceps now. As if our triceps aren't already on fire, we're going to do overhead tricep extensions. So for this, you're going to use two dumbbells or one. If you got two, just take them up right here, let them rest on your shoulders, come up, back down. If you got one, just hold it by one of the ends, like this, and then you can come up. Just like that. You come up, squeeze. Let's go. What are you doing right over there? <laughs> you have your own workout? Try to sit up. That's where I'm sitting. Oh, come on. Push it out. Let's go, last one. Back down. Here we go. All right, the next ones we're going to lay down on the ground floor. We're going to do lying tricep extension with a neutral grip. So, palms facing towards each other on this one. If you just have one dumbbell, then same thing. You're going to be just like we were before, coming down, back up. If you have two, then you're just going to hold them in each hand, similar. There we go. So the dumbbell should come down over your head, not to your forehead. It should come over the top of your head here. You come down over the top, come back. The arm should never be perfectly vertical. Vertical. You should have a slight angle to them at all times. Keep tension on the triceps. Come on. Here we go. All right, next we're going to go to a palms out tricep extension. So if you have two, you're just going to rotate those palms up. If you just have one dumbbell, then just hold each end like this and do this. You got a couple seconds left, so we come down and then up. Make sure you have a good grip on your dumbbell. 
if you just have one and that there's no dumbbell behind you, just mush your finger. Come on. Oh, push it. Let's go. Woo! We're in those triceps. Let's go. You push it. A couple reps left. One more. There we go. Alright, we're gonna stand up. We're gonna go in to tricep kickbacks here. So grab a little bit lighter weight. You do not need heavy weight for these. So what we're gonna do here, slide bending the knees, bending at the hips, lower back stays nice and straight. Bring the arms up by the side from here, kick back, come back down. There we go. Kick him back, come back down. Our arms never come back here. We're not going like this. Like that, we're not swinging. Upper arm straight by the side, come back, back down. Push it out. If you need to alternate, totally fine. Just keep pushing it. Don't stop on us. Let's go. It ain't supposed to be easy. Come on. We got one more. Woo, there we go. All right, we're going into shoulders. First one we're going into is shoulder press. So we're going to take our dumbbells. Curl them on up, palms facing away from us. Elbows slightly in front of the shoulder. We're gonna push up, come right back down. Good control movements. We go all the way up, all the way down. If it gets too heavy, you can either alternate left and right, or use your legs. Drop down, explode up, slowly lower them, nice and controlled. So using our legs to get them up there, Bring them down on our own. I don't know about you, but my triceps are still on fire. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. All right, next we're going in to lateral raises. So from here, you can start with your hands out in front of you or by the side. Slide them in the shoulders. From here, we're gonna bring them out, come back down. Have your thumbs slightly above your pinkies. You don't want them like this or down. You want them up a little bit to prevent shoulder injury. Here we go. Come out, back down. If you feel yourself using a little too much traps up here by your neck and you're almost shrugging, then start from a 90. Like this, come out, back down. As you get better at it, then you can slowly start to extend your elbows. Oh. Let's go. Ten seconds. Let's go. Build those shoulders up. Come on. One more. There we go. All right. Next, we're going into a bent over high row. So keep that lower back nice and straight from here. We're going to row nice and high. The dumbbells for your standing up should be coming just into your armpit, not too high. Just right here under the armpit, so we can get some rear delt activation here. Here we go. I'm up. Back down. This is too tough on your lower back. You can drop one, just do a single, and then switch halfway, just like that. You can also alternate, just like Jen's doing. Come on. Try to focus on those rear delts. As you come up, you can even kind of Turn your palms to face each other and see if that helps activate the rear delts a little more. Let's go. Come on. Woo! On fire right there. Hard. Right. We're going to the Arnold's next. So we're going to curl them up. We're going to start palms facing us. From here, we're going to do a shoulder press. As we go up, palms are going to face away from us. So we're rotating the palms away. As we go up, rotating them back in as we come down. Here we go. Come up, back down. 
Up, back down. Come on. Let's go. You're pushing. Again, if it gets too tough, you could use those legs. Explode up and then slowly lower it down. Explode up, slowly lower it down. There we go. One more. There we go. All right, we're going into abs now. So our first one we got is reverse crunches. All these are going to be on the ground. So reverse crunches, we're going to lay down flat here. Let me turn this. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring our legs up like that. So come in if you want and get that little hip thrust or get those hips off the ground. Squeeze. Come back down. As you pull the knees up, make sure to exhale. Really squeeze, contract the abs. There we go. Focus on the core. You don't need to do this super fast. We're not trying to come up like this and use momentum. We're trying to control it and force the activation of the abs. Force them to do the work. We're not trying to make it easy. Try not to use the arms. As you come up, you don't want to be pushing with the hands. There we go. Alright, next one in to cross body crunches here. So, put those feet up if you want. If you want to keep them down, up, alternating elbows to knees. Opposite elbow to knees. Just like that. Again, make sure to contract the abs. Exhale as you come up. Here we go. Exhale, across the body. Squeeze. There we go. If crossbody is too tough for you, then just come straight up. Holding your knees is too hard, just do that. Just keep pushing yourself no matter what you're doing. Keep pushing. Do not stop. Do not give up. One more. There we go. All right, next one we're going into is pipe crunches. So we're going to have our legs up. If that's too tough for you, keep your knees bent at a 90. From here, we're going to come up, come back down. If you want to make it tougher, come out and then back up. Just like that. This mat's a little too small for me. <laughs> I got my head hanging off, my butt hanging off. Again, if you want to make it a little easier, right here, even easier, right here. Uh. All of them are totally fine. And don't laugh at my flexibility, or lack of flexibility. <laughs> Come on. One more. There we go. All right, next we're going to low back hyper. So what we're going to do here is we're going to lay on our stomach, hands down in front of us, like we're Superman flying across the sky here, like this, toes pointed out. We're going to come up, squeeze, come back down. There we go. Oops, sorry. So hands down, squeeze. If your hands out are too tough, just bring them here. Come back, squeeze, get a little hold, come back down. You're gonna exhale as you pull up, squeeze that lower back, come back down. There we go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh, we got one more. Woo! Here we go. Workout finish. Good yeah. stuff right there. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Way to go. Those five crumbs are brutal. Yeah, that was a good finish. Mad work. Way to push it today. Way to push it. 
All right, you know the drill. If you like this workout, smash that like button. Boom! And we'll see you on the next one. See you guys.